Mm -hmm. And welcome back into Open Line. I'm Chuck Long here with Kevin Kennedy from the Kennedy Law Firm. I know a lot of you watch Kevin every time that he's here with us at News Channel 5. Uh, Kevin, one of the things that to me is always so impressive is just the experience and the wisdom that you bring. I often say when people call in, because you guys can call in, and by the way, that number's on your screen, 737-7587, any legal question you have. And it's almost like I want to say it stumped the scholar because I'm <laughs> like, how do you know the answers to all these questions? Such a broad range of questions. Yeah, and the real world is, I guess, after you've been in the practice of law for four, for 38 years, and then we had to study law school four years, and you had to study the bar. Well, I've spent a lifetime learning the law, learning the theories, learning how to get around that law, and learning how to protect our clients. So it's not only knowing the law, but what is... Uh, acceptable and what is not. Sometimes we have to create, and I still, uh, and I'll say this, never ever underestimate the benefit of a talented, strategic, competent lawyer, period. And you know, often people say, well, I can probably do this on my I own. I hear it every week. I bet you do. And every then you find out there's so many times that you could have had a lawyer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. It's just what I want to say is somebody said, well, Kev, I think I got this covered. Let me go on in and do it. And I said, well, hello. Then when it goes real bad, they come over and say, Kevin, can we talk about appeal? And let me say this. Yeah, you have a right to appeal. But realistically, all our chances are going to every time I go to that next step on appeal, they've whacked me. So you need the lawyer and round round one. And if he's really skilled, he may be able to knock out the problems before round one. I've said this before. If the police were out here saying, we'd like to talk to you, then I would say, no, we're not going to talk. Chuck, you come with me and then let me talk to the police. And it makes a big difference. And then they may not, they say, leave him alone. Let it go. We protect you. You're not out here breaking the law. You don't want to get in anybody trouble, and you don't want to get in trouble. So the lawyer can make a big difference in your life. And Use is, them. Absolutely. And this is the time that you can ask those legal questions that you've been pondering, that you've been thinking about. Just give us a call. The number is right there on your screen. We're going to go to the lines right now on open line. Stacy is on the line with us. Good evening, Stacy. Hope you're doing well. Do you have a legal question or a comment for Kevin? I I have a question. All right, Stacey. And it's a state question. Okay, um, my uh, brother had a house, has a house, and he's deceased. And it went to my parents. He had no children. Okay. And from my parents being deceased, um, I was wondering, my sister and her um, husband was staying in the house. My sister is deceased now, and I'm trying to get the house back. Who does that house belong to? Well, what, what I think needs to happen, of course, this is the word to the wise. If someone passes away, administer the estate. Don't wait around for another generation to pass and another ge It complicates it so much more. But under the laws of intestacy here in Tennessee, you, being the blood relative, have a right to go file as the administrator under that estate. And then we'll see who the heirs are, the administrator. Yes, they have a right to charge a fee for being the administrator. And they also just, if there's property and there's a lot of heirs, they just sell the property and then the money's divided. Thank you so much for calling in, Stacy. So good to know, Kevin. All right, let's go right back to the lines right now. Sarah is on the line with us. Good evening, Sarah. What's your question for Kevin? Well, um, the question is, um, I had a car accident and the two cars that hit me while I was sitting still were both at the same insurance company. And so toward the, the end of time, the insurance company offered my husband, I and my granddaughter $1,000 a piece. And so we told him that that wasn't sufficient. And so we got an attorney and then I learned that uh, the statute of limitation was running out. Mm. Well, the statute of limitations ran out in September, and they called me in September to, you know, offer that to me. Yes. And so I got a lawyer, and to stop that statute of limitation, I put a halt on it. I had to pay the lawyer $85 to go to, um, I guess, put a halt on that. But anyway, we went to court. Well, I didn't go to court. I gave everything to the lawyer, 
And so anyway, it went on and on. They lost my papers. I had to give the papers back to them again. And so anyway, the next thing I know, the lawyer is telling me that the judge threw it out. And I just felt like that wasn't fair. And so I I, uh, sent an email to the CEO of the um, insurance company. And I sent it a couple of times and they never responded. So I don't know what I did wrong. Well, here's the real world. And I'm so sorry to hear that, Sarah. But insurance companies do take advantage of people. So you'll hear me loud and clear. Don't let the insurance companies take advantage of you. So what we hear at the law firm a lot, people, well, they're going to pay us. They're going to pay us. They lead you on and lead you on and lead you on. We get down close to the statute and lawyers don't want to take the cases when it's so close because then they have to file suit and you you lose a lot of ground. Lawyers want to get that case as soon as when, if if you had moved early on when that wreck had happened, lawyers can advise you all along the way. They increase the odds that they make the demand on the insurance company and they can negotiate long before they're under the gun. Once you get under the gun, well, then they've got the advantage. It's kind of like in a wrestling match. If they get on top of you, they've got the advantage. If we get on top of them, we have the advantage. So the word to the wise is for all those who listen. And it's a classic case where they took advantage of you. And I'm sorry. And you can file your complaints with the Tennessee Insurance Commission. You can do all that. But realistically, when the statute runs, the statute runs. And so I don't know what your lawyer actually did, but uh, I would still pursue it. You might talk to the commissioner of insurance and see uh, what he could do. All right. Good to know. Sarah, thanks for calling and uh, sorry that that uh, happened to you. Yes. We do have a lot of you online. We will get back to those questions as soon as we can. But right now we need to take a short break and then more on Open Line right after those.